Have you ever seen a boat floating across the water and wondered, how does it stay afloat? Then come along with Curious George and let's find out. Boats can be really heavy. So heavy that they seem like they should sink. After all, if you toss something heavy in the water, it tends to drop right to the bottom. So, what's up? How do ships cruise around carrying so much weight without sinking? Well, people have been wondering that for a long time. All the way back in ancient Greek times, there was a super smart scientist named Archimedes who decided he was going to try and figure it out. He realized that weight isn't what makes something sink. Density is what matters. Density is how much something weighs and how much space it takes up. Think of it like this. Imagine you had three boxes, one full of rocks, one full of water, and one full of feathers. The box of rocks is going to be really heavy. The box of feathers will be pretty light, and the box of water will be somewhere in the middle. Since the rocks are denser than the water, they sink. And since the feathers are less dense, they tend to float. So what does this have to do with big, heavy boats? Shouldn't they sink? Archimedes wondered this too, and figured out why they don't. It's because whenever something enters water, it gets pushed in two directions, both up and down. The boat is pulled down by gravity, but the water also pushes up against it. The water pushes back with the weight of all the water that was moved out of the way by the boat. If a ship, no matter how heavy, weighs less than the water it pushes out of the way, then it stays afloat. Rocks, on the other hand, don't take up very much space for how heavy they are, causing them to sink. So, while ships are certainly super heavy, they take up more space and move even more water than they weigh. So, next time you see a boat sailing along, you'll have an idea why it stays afloat. Make sure to check out episodes of your favorite good little monkey, Curious George. Always on Peacock Kids.